Hello and welcome back to another uh, usual tutorial. I'm Daniel and I will show you how to continue the project in this video. Uh, so we you know, attached all the arms and legs in the last part. This time we have to attach the head to our body and that's a bit more difficult. We also have a pretty weird number here which is 41 and also we have 7 up here which is also kind of a weird number. So we have to find a way to get this kind of right from both directions. So first thing I want to do is actually to make this 4D. So somewhere we're going to steal one of the uh, loops. So I thought I would somewhere where no one is looking so much over here do something about it or maybe maybe this one. Let's just say uh, let's just select these three and uh, delete edge loop. And now we have three triangles here. And what you can do is uh, introduce one more loop from the side here instead to get back to using quads. So just join these together and you have quads. <laughs> this is a horrible solution, but it does the job. Um, for us, I see it's just a little bit, a little bump in the back here that no one is able to see. And even if, if she's in motion, that is really, with these many bodies around it, it's no problem. And no one is going to, you know, say this is wrong, so just do it. And uh, now here we have seven, or... Uh, so what I want to do is add three more loops somewhere to give us the 10 that we're going to uh, go for. So first of all, make things even and see where you could um, you know, have some, some more loops where it's not dense enough. So over here, I'm pretty sure we need some more because that's big space. So I'm going to use the knife tool to cut in here, and over here, let's just use this to give additional detail for, um, you know, the muscle that goes through here. So I'm trying it like this, and then just making sure that we have quads everywhere, and then we can, you know, make it smooth again. Once we have all the geometry there, let's just leave these three, but everything else, try to make it smooth. So there is one weird vertex here. I don't know how this got it, uh, got here, but I'm going to delete it. So time to fix everything. Just try to make it smooth again. You might have to do that by hand. But it shouldn't be too hard quite easy to get things smooth and over here definitely um, integrate those new vertices into the circle. And soon you should end up with something like this here. It should look pretty much the same and it's going to be mostly covered by the hair anyway so um, not, so it's not a big thing to worry about. Now we have already nine, but we need one more, and that one I'm just going to cut through here to, you know, give us the last, the last one that we need. So now it's pretty easy. Everything we have to do from this point on is subdivide it twice, and I'm just going to apply it. Oh, by the way, here's a problem. Let's just make sure that this is really a copy. Um, yeah, it is. So apply mirror modifier first. That is important. Then apply the subsurface modifier. Then go here into edit mode, select this entire inner uh, loop. Control E, select loop inner region. Okay, that didn't work for some reason. Oh, of course, you have to select on the back side this middle loop as well. Then select loop inner region, delete faces, so, and then you know add a mirror modifier again. So now everything is as it was before. Just um, you know with subdivision surface on. Just here is a little bump in here, I'm trying to fix it if that's possible. 
yeah let's just leave it as it is before we destroy anything anyways now we can um, you know, join these two meshes I'm going to delete this loop though and then join them and then we should be good with using oh no what's wrong something is wrong let's see oh obviously okay yeah did we really select so something is wrong here we have 37 oh I made a big mistake I know what's wrong that is stupid I don't know how I got that idea some of you were probably already saying what I what are you doing what are you doing stop it but I forgot something so here is what's what's going on um, we had 41 vertices down here and a mirror modifier so what that means is not that you have 82 on the other side it means that you have um, that is so weird weird I don't get it you know what let's let's just apply the modifier and see it so yeah indeed you lose two vertices after after doubling it because you have two in the center that are the same so what that means is that um, the 41 were actually already 80 and I just thought about this in a wrong way I thought it would be you know 82 which is obviously wrong so connect these again just try to fix it as good as you can and once that's back to normal I mean we're going to delete this one anyways so delete right away and then about this one here we have oh no so what do I do now let's 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 um let's see if we can undo it yeah we can until we get our modifier back okay I'm really sorry for all the troubles but I think I'm going to leave this in the tutorial because I guess it's good to see what kind of troubles you can run into and how to fix them um, so I had to redo this one as well but we, we have uh, other ways to do this so now we have definitely I'm sure about it um, 40 on one half and 80 around and up here we want to have the same amount but we had it wrong so this is now 18 so we need two more uh, loops somewhere and I think this time I'm going to add them here very simple Uh, you can actually ignore one side. I mean, it's going to be mirrored anyways. So we have only quads now. I'm going to um, apply the modifier. Okay, you know what? Actually, we should care about the sides. <laughs> oh, I'm making lots of mistakes this time. So connect these. Then at least give it a try to make it smooth. <laughs> and then apply the subsurface modifier select one half the way we did before make sure it's really the center that wasn't the center and delete everything then join it to the lower part the mirror modifier should automatically um, be applied since it's in the in that other object we don't need that loop and then connect connect these and fix something if it's if there is something wrong and this time finally we can connect them and we have success ah oh, that was a bit stressful so and now I can show you I know what's going on with with you know these parts right now the last one was troublesome this one has also problems this is kind of weird uh, anyways you see the, the technique that I use to blend them together is really simple I just use vertex smooth and I'm sure you can see already how all that works uh, that wasn't really 
what I'm fixing now isn't really part of the uh, of an issue created by joining them, but I'm still changing some um, shapes here to improve it. Mostly made, uh, mostly with you know proportional editing and other tools that are similar. If you want, at this point, you can also go in and sculpt something. Uh, I want to give it a quick try and use the smooth brush to get this area here right, and also to make this one a little bit more interesting. If it works, uh, it doesn't quite. Let's just leave it as it was. Maybe that's a little bit better. So there you go. You have now your head attached to the body, which was quite hard compared to everything else. That was the last challenge. You have now, uh, let's just bring the clothes over to the next layer and all the other objects except the head. Oh, and by the way, I noticed that on the recording, this matcap looks really weird. Let's switch back to something different. <laughs> No, I don't like that one either. Let's just work for a while without madcaps, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, struggling quite a bit here recently, but things have turned out kind of well. And our body is now a single object, which is a big thing. Um, and yeah, next part, I guess we'll figure out something to do for our next part. After all, we want to continue working on this. Um, hope you still had en enjoyed watching it and everything. Have a good day. Hope to see you in my next part.